Philippines in the heart of ancient Ireland, where myth and reality intertwined, lived Q Chulain, a warrior of unparalleled strength and courage. His name was whispered in awe, his deeds sung in bard's tales. Yet, even he, the Hound of Ulster, was unaware of the darkness that crept at the edges of his world. A shadow was growing, a malevolent force that fed on the lifeblood of the land. It was not a creature of flesh and bone, but a spirit, ancient and insidious. The Green Man, they called it, a name as misleading as it was haunting. For this entity was no benevolent guardian of nature, but a twisted parody, a devourer of life. As Q Chulan's fame soared, so too did the Green Man's hunger. The land began to wither, crops failed, and a chilling dread settled over Ulster. The once vibrant forests turned to skeletal remains, their leaves prematurely yellowed and lifeless. Animals grew restless, their behavior erratic, as if sensing an unseen terror. A prophecy emerged from the mouths of old women, their eyes filled with a haunting wisdom. They spoke of a champion, a warrior pure of heart, who would confront the green man. Destiny, it seemed, had marked Q Chulan. Reluctantly, he left the familiar comfort of his home, venturing into the heart of the dying forest. The air was thick with an unnatural silence, broken only by the eerie creaking of dying trees. The ground beneath his feet was soft and yielding, as if the earth itself was weeping. As he delved deeper into the woods, the sunlight began to dim, replaced by an eerie, greenish glow. Strange, otherworldly shapes moved in the shadows, their eyes burning with an unnatural intensity. Xu Chulan's sword hummed with anticipation, but these were not foes he could vanquish with steel. Then he saw it, a towering figure, cloaked in a verdant shroud, its face a grotesque mask of leaves and vines. The green man, its eyes, twin pools of emerald, held a malevolent intelligence. A chilling wind swept through the forest, carrying the creature's raspy whisper, you cannot defeat me, Xu Chulan. I am the land, I am the land, I am the life, and I am death. The battle that ensued was not one of swords and shields, but of wills. Q Chulain fought with a ferocity born of desperation, his every blow a testament to his indomitable spirit. The green man countered with an insidious power, draining the life from the land to bolster its own strength. The ground trembled, the sky darkened, and the very fabric of reality seemed to fray at the edges. See Yu Chulain, his body battered and his spirit weary, stood alone against the monstrous force. The fate of Ulster hung in the balance. The battle raged on, a cosmic struggle echoing through the heart of Ireland. Ku Chulain, his body aching with every movement, fought with a desperation born of love for his people. His spirit, however, remained unbroken, a beacon of hope in the encroaching darkness. The Green Man, sensing its power waning, unleashed its final, desperate attack. The earth groaned and split open, revealing a gaping maw that threatened to swallow Q Chulin whole. The Green Man, its form distorted and grotesque, surged forward, its intent clear to drag the hero into the underworld. With a roar that shook the trembling earth, Hu Chulan met the charge. His sword, a blur of silver, danced and slashed, a whirlwind of defiance. In that moment, a surge of power coursed through him, a gift from the ancient gods, recognizing his courage. His eyes, once human, now glowed with a divine light. With a final, earth-shattering blow, he cleaved the green man in two. The creature howled in agony, its essence scattering like autumn leaves. As the last vestiges of the green man faded, the land began to heal. The wounded earth sighed in relief, and new life stirred beneath the soil. Exhausted but triumphant, Suyu Chulan collapsed to his knees. The world around him was bathed in a soft, golden light. A gentle breeze carried the sweet scent of new growth. The battle was won, but at a terrible cost, his body was broken, his spirit weary. As the first rays of dawn touched his face, Siu Chulain closed his eyes. He was at peace, knowing that his sacrifice had saved his people. And as his spirit ascended, he became a part of the legend, forever entwined with the land he loved. The tale of Kyu Chulan, and the green man became a beacon of hope for generations to come. It was a reminder that even in the darkest of hours, courage and sacrifice can triumph over evil. 
And so the Green Man, though defeated, became a cautionary tale, a spectre haunting the dreams of those who would dare to harm the land. And the forest, reborn from the brink of oblivion, stood as a testament to the enduring spirit of Ireland. The land healed, its wounds slowly closing under the watchful gaze of the sun. Where once stood a dying forest, a new Eden emerged, teeming with life. The people of Ulster, inspired by Q Chulan's sacrifice, rallied together to rebuild their homes and their lives. His memory became a cornerstone of their culture, a symbol of courage and resilience. Bards sang of his deeds, their voices carrying the echo of his legend across generations. Children were named in his honor, their lives shaped by the ideals he embodied. And so Q Chulen, the mortal man who dared to challenge the immortal, lived on, not in flesh and blood, but in the hearts of his people, in the greening of the land, and in the enduring spirit of Ireland. His tale, a testament to the indomitable human spirit, became a beacon of hope, a reminder that even in the face of overwhelming darkness, light can prevail.